Details, Aisha, still trickling into us gradually in the moments after this attack took place. It took place within the last hour. Uh, we're now uh, hearing on Russian state television. Uh, they're quoting Russian officials, as you just mentioned there, that the death toll in this explosion at Domodedovo Airport, which is the main airport in the Russian capital, has risen to 31 people have been killed in this explosion. Another 130 people uh, said to be injured, some of them uh, clearly uh, very, uh, very uh, seriously indeed. The Interfax News Agency, as you mentioned there, uh, reporting that a suicide bomber is responsible for this. That's not been confirmed by any official uh, source, but the investigative committee, which is the, the body that's overseeing what is now a crime scene at Domodedovo Airport, is describing the explosion as a terrorist act. It's not clear at this point uh, where the explosion took place. Uh, uh, Interfax again saying it was in the departure terminal by a suicide bomber. Other reports in other Russian news agencies uh, saying the explosion took place in the baggage reclaim area of the airport. But clearly uh, the casualty is very high. Again, 31 people dead, according to Russian officials being quoted by Interfax. Another 130 injured in what must have been an extremely busy time at Moscow's main international airport, Aisha. Matthew, as you rightly point out, this is a fast developing story. Not many details out there. But let me ask you about the situation regarding security at an airport like that. What can you tell us about the kind of uh, processes in place? Well, uh, Domodedovo has in fact been affected by suicide bombers in the past. In 2004, two female suicide bombers managed to board planes at Domodedovo and detonate their explosives in midair, uh, causing dozens and dozens of, of fatalities, of course, bringing both of those aircraft down. Since then, the security measures that have been put in force in Domodedovo Airport are, you know, uh, of the kind that you see elsewhere in major international capitals. You see metal detectors, you see uh, very high-tech scanners. There's a, a very heavy police presence, armed police presence, in and around the terminal building and uh, obviously lots of security cameras. So it is a very modern airport. It has state-of-the-art uh, surveillance and uh, security equipment, uh, but obviously uh, not enough to prevent a determined bomber to cause this kind of, of, of devastation. But again, uh, security has now obviously been stepped up further at the airport. There has also been uh, the police in Moscow, the Russian capital, have been placed on high alert outside other uh, key transport installations as well.